Mm. God. Oh, this cake is just fucking fantastic. Mm. 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 Um, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Huey. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Big Tech Films here. Welcome to another live stream. I figured I'd do one on my birthday because, fuck it, I got nothing better to do. And I'm just going to quickly turn off the vibration mode here on my phone. So, gonna try a little bit of a different location, a bit further down in my room, because let's see if the Wi-Fi can reach here. So, yeah, I'm just eating my fucking goddamn cake. Mom makes the ex an excellent marble cake, by the way. Mm. Chocolate frosting is fucking amazing. I feel like Wolf. I feel like I'm gonna turn to Wolf or Brimley. I'm not for Brimley. I like to take a few minutes to talk to you about diabetes. Um, so. Yeah, birthday was pretty chill today. I'm 28. Fuck, I'm old. Um, uh, I'm gonna get me started on 30. So, yeah, we're kicking off what happened last night because I had to cut it short. Gonna make up for it. This is technically part two. Um, and yeah, we're just here to chat. And yes, this is my entire DVD shelf of movies and shit, which is pretty cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody, for your birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. A lot, of, a lot of love came out today from a lot of people. And it's it's just the funny thing is, is that I reflect on essentially becoming a better person, improving my qualities, um, at some point improving my character. Although, funny enough, hey, Jackson Knight, hi, Carter Jones. Funny enough, a lot of people, I'm 28, and some people still think I'm 18, 19. Which I think is a gift. Um, and I'm going to use that to my advantage. Um, thank God. I'm going to use that to my advantage so I can have like flashbacks of me as a young character. Mm. I'm boy, this cake is amazing. Oh my God. I feel like Christopher Walken was asking for some pie. Fuck the queen. <laughs> I've been quoting Christopher Walken all day. I don't know why. How was the Sarah Connor Chronicles uh, neck? By the way, guys, go subscribe to Nick. He's kind of coming back up a little bit. Video quality is definitely definitely improved. Please check him out. Going to run now. I will set 1935. 1935! That's what young. That's older than my cake. All right, interesting. Okay. So hey, Ethan, good to see you. I know a lot of people today. So yeah, we're just gonna be talking about stuff. You guys want something to talk about? It's my birthday. Fuck it. I've got a few more hours left on my birthday, so I'm going to make it count. <clears throat> this Pepsi was really hard to open. Ow. Um, currently watching my Kong film. Thank you so much, Ethan. And that's really the only thing I asked for today for my birthday from all my fans. is just to watch my shit. I'm going to enjoy my birthday. Pepsi, man! Night. Drink it tonight. Not, not my night. Um... So yeah, just uh, it's been pretty quiet. It's been good. I had my family up, uh, my cousins, my aunt. Uh, they came all up today. Actually, my cousin brought her uh, her uh, uh, I think three four month old son, the cutest little guy. Um, I I am essentially his uncle, and I love it. Like he is an adorable little guy. Crib set up. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, they are TV budget, Nick. If you do a Lego version of 1996, will you have actors for your Kong film? Yes, I will. Um, I think I'm going to just start with animation first. I just don't know when I'm going to get around to it. It's just, I got an idea of how I'm going to do it. It's just about when. But yeah, if you're wondering, this is the DVD shelf. And it is packed to hell of DVDs. I don't know if you can see that, but it is packed to hell. Full of DVDs. And these are all VHS copies of my movie, which, by the way, guys, might as well pull them out. If you want a copy of this, my Kong film on VHS, um, just send us a PM on Facebook or Twitter and we'll send you our PayPal. Uh, they're about five bucks plus shipping. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. All hail King Jack. Yes. As my first decree. I'm just thinking of Redcoat Jack. That'd be great. Joins Captain Roth on Adventures out in the high seeds. Oh, I don't know if I'm showing you guys this. 
But I got this from a friend, Lunichi Bunny, uh, which she's her uh, channel's in the description below. Please go uh, help her out. Um, she got me this at Fan Expo. <laughs> it's a replica of Norsel from Lord of the Rings. This is this is actual steel. This is my new baby. <laughs> I freaking love the scene. Um, I actually caught that on TV last night, uh, June Bug Films. I didn't like it. It had a very Harry Potter vibe to it. I was thinking more Lord of the Rings. I think that's what a lot of people thought. We need more rings. <laughs> Don't run with it. I've already charged into battle with it. I'm already going around like, you know, when he turns around and he like looks out in the armies I'm not doing, he turns around and he's like, For Frodo. Walks in like the fucking Lord of the Rings theme is playing. It's awesome. But yeah, I love this thing. Thank you so much, uh, Luna Cheap Bunny. Guys, go subscribe to her. She's awesome. Uh, please do. That'd be a good birthday wish as well. Uh, you guys want to see my DVD collection? Might take a while. Uh, unless you're up for it. I don't care. Um, my favorite director is George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and Peter Jackson. I can't decide. I've never seen West Side Story. I can't take Lord of the Rings seriously without thinking of South Park. I, well, that's the thing. That's one of my, that's actually my favorite episode of South Park is um, the Lord of the Rings episode. Well, if you guys want a DVD collection video, then fine. I'll just kind of go through it. Um, I guess the first thing I should do, maybe discuss my Godzilla DVDs. Maybe that might be the key one. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to go through these maybe one at a time for a little bit. Oh, and they are packed in here, by the way. So, fuck it. I haven't done this yet, so why not? Um, so I guess I'll start with the Godzilla stuff. These are just DVDs. These are all my Godzilla DVDs. Holy shit. <laughs> so, we'll start with the obvious. Uh, oh, fuck. They're, they're falling apart. Oh, God. Um, we'll start with the obvious. Holy shit, they're going everywhere. Stay in your compact condition in chronological order, damn it. Um, we'll start with the obvious. I have the uh, Godzilla collection. Includes the uncut Gojira. Um, I got this essentially, I think, for Christmas. It's a uh, Godzilla pack. It comes with Gojira, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla Raids Again, Mothra vs. Godzilla, uh, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of the Astro Monster, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla's Revenge, ugh, and Terror of Mecha Godzilla. All in this one package. Uh, so there's that. Um, now these two... Yeah, I'll take it if you want to like studios. That'd be nice. I have seen THX 1138. It's interesting. So then I have the two uh, Toho Kong Duologies. This one is unopened. I have like a, three copies of this now. Um, so I have King Kong vs. Godzilla. And I have King Kong Escapes. Um, which are going to be maybe the subject of the next two Kong reviews. So look forward to that. Uh, now, bear in mind, I also have those two films. I'm going to pull them out here. I do have them on Blu-ray as well, and I have not opened these yet. I got these at Giant Tiger, so I have them on DVD and I have them on Blu-ray, so that's a plus. So I keep those with the Kong collection. Anything I update, I put into the Kong collection above, which you guys would probably want to see that, but we'll get to we'll, we'll get to that. Patience, patience, patience. So then I have uh, Destroy All Monsters. I don't know if this is the one that went out of print because of the public domain copyright issue. If it is, let me know, because that would mean this is technically a little bit more valuable, right? I'm not 100%, but this is a DVD copy of Destroy All Monsters. I don't know if this is a rare one. So we have that. We have um, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. Uh, this is from the Toho Collection. Uh, this is actually, believe it or not, on VHS is the rarest Godzilla film. Is on VHS. Um, is Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. And it was rare for a long time on DVD until Toho put it out. Um, I've yet to watch this one. I know it's one of Nick's favorites, so uh, repeat me if I'm wrong about that. Um, this is one of my personal favorites. And this is actually a rare DVD. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. This is one of my favorites in the franchise, so there's that. Anime style? Well, we tried that with Godzilla the Planet shit, but it wasn't that good from what I heard. They'll probably fight and then be on the sides at the end. Now, this one, I have to point out, I've had this one for a while. I know the Toho Collection did release this, but at the time, this was the only one I could get. I have here a bootleg version of Godzilla 1985, The Return of Godzilla. Um, I had got this at a booth at Fan Expo. They were selling these, but unlike the Toho uh, Collection version of Return of Godzilla, 
This comes with not only the Japanese version, but the American version in widescreen with Raymond Burr. So you get two versions of the film. Now, yeah, these are bootlegs, but look at this. Look how nice they made these DVDs. Like, I know for bootlegs, they're worth nothing, but these are really nice. So I've got till 85, one of my personal favorites. Now, again, I just got these off Amazon, which, by the way, I got some more Amazon cards. So, yay, I can buy more shit. Um, I got the Toho collection. So this includes pretty much the entirety of the rest of the Heisei and Millennium era, minus Godzilla vs. Biollante. That's one I'm actually missing. I wish they had included on this. And my biggest gripe with these DVDs, I really wish they put Mechagodzilla 2 in with this box set instead of this one. It just, that really bugs me. So we have that. Oh, God, these are already falling apart. Um, we have Zilla 98, Godzilla 98. Um, find this at any store at this point. So I have it just because you got to kind of add it. Um, and then I do have some of the Millennium films on single DVDs, but because I got the Toho collection, I kind of moved them. So then we have, uh, hang on. I missed that question. Um, then we have Godzilla 2014. I've watched it again. There are, there's a lot of stuff I still really like about this film, but compared to the next film, not really aged well until it, in terms of Godzilla contact. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kaiju Network. I know this is your favorite movie, but it hasn't aged that well. Hello, Eric King. Only Godzilla movie I'm missing is King Kong vs. Godzilla. I have all the others. Well, Huey, I might have a spare. I might have a spare if you want it. I might. Emphasis. But it is the American cut. And then I just got this for Brad for Christmas. He got me Godzilla King of the Monsters on Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, digital code. Um, this is awesome. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Studio 95. Go subscribe to him. So, and then the last Godzilla movie I have in my collection. Now, this was a gift. I cannot take that right now. Uh, this is a gift that was given to me by a certain filmmaker that I met at G-Fest. I have a copy of Godzilla Battle Royale. Now, unfortunately, I got the really sad news that uh, the film has been taken down from YouTube due to copyright, unfortunately, but it lasted for a good long while. But I met the director, Billy DeBoss, a really nice guy at uh, G-Fest, and he handed me a free copy of the film. It comes with both uh, the Battle Royale, uh, the film, and bonus features, which is awesome. So... Yeah, that's really cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, really great DVD. I'm really happy. Now, I had to get a different DVD because it was in, like, a really thin uh, box. So, I put it in an old Blockbuster <laughs> DVD case, which they are pretty strong in terms of content, which is pretty cool. So, there's the Godzilla DVDs. That's the entire collection. And while we're at it, just a few little extras. I do have uh, Gamera. I do have the original Gamera. I have the entire... Uh, Heisei Gamera Trilogy, which I have not, I have not seen any of the Gamera movies, although I might watch these because I think I'll stick with these. And then I have Cloverfield, great monster movie, and then I have Pacific Rim. Uh, so those are essentially my collection of kaiju themed DVDs. Now, you guys want to see the Kong collection? You guys want to see the Kong collection? Okay, we'll go through this shit. You guys want to see Kong? I will give you Kong. Well, first, uh, why don't we go to the very beginning? Uh, we'll go to the very beginning before Kong, and I'll show you essentially my Dino DVDs, or what I call the Dynamation Collection that I have. They're all up here in the top row, and they are bitch to get out. Oh my god. Yes, I'm wearing dolphin pajamas because I am tired. Oh my god. This is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Hold on a sec. Hold your horses, folks. Um, so I'll start with these, and I'll bring... Oh, fuck. This is really compact. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, these are really compact, so just bear with me here, guys. Um, so, that's part of my Dynamation collection. So, hey, Jack. This is not his underwear. No, no, no. Well, yeah. Uh, Son of Godzilla is great. Thank you. Um, all right. So, first of all, I have one of my favorite DVDs, uh, Jurassic Park, the Ultimate Edition. Now, I know they've updated this since, but this is one of my favorite DVDs. It's so compact with so many bonus features and stuff. It's unbelievable. Has all three films plus two bonus discs with all the bonus features from previous DVD releases, laser discs, plus um, a new doc a documentary called Return to Jurassic Park. Really nice. Um, of course, I have Jurassic World. 
Blu-ray, DVD, and I have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and I have yet to open this because I've seen the film enough times where I'm like, yeah, I don't need to open it because it's not good. Um, so there's Jurassic Park. Um, then we want to go back to the very, very beginning. So this is what I call the Willis O'Brien Ray Harryhausen collection because I keep these kind of next to Kong. So we have uh, The Lost World. Now, this is the 1960s film, but it has a second disc that obtains the 1925 film, and it's actually a really good print of the film, although I am looking forward to Mason McCleary's uh, print of The Lost World, the 25 film. But I don't know if this is out of print. I'm not 100% sure, but this is an okay movie. It was all right. I like I liked the lizard effects. I think it's kind of cool, let's be honest. Um, I, have, I have a double feature here, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms and Them. Unfortunately, this is one of those really shitty DVDs that are like flip-sided. So I choose Beast over to them. So I have that, which is pretty cool. And then I have my favorite Harryhausen movie, One Million Years BC. Now, I know this is the American cut. I have the UK cut, which I am going to use in my review. But um, this is one of the DVDs I've been wanting for a while. Uh, probably my favorite Harryhausen movie. Easily one of my favorite dinosaur movies. This movie is awesome. Uh, we have... Okay, this is another bootleg. Same booth that got Godzilla 85. I have, because it is a rare print film, When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth with Stop Animation by Jim Danforth. Um, so I got this, again, at a bootleg store. But it comes with both the G-rated and the R-rated version. So they're two really rare prints of the film. I've seen the DVD go for a fuckload of money, and I ain't paying that. I paid five bucks for this at that booth at Fan Expo, so I got that. A uh, good movie. But then, got another great movie. The Valley of Guanji. Um, Basically, Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs. Great Harryhausen movie. You know what I showed you? Um, I can't remember what you showed me, Huey. What was it? Uh, Could you um remind me? Just a reminder. Just wondering. So, yeah, I have Valley of Guanji, which is pretty cool. I have the, um, now we get to the, the Ray Harryhausen collection. Uh, this is all of Harryhausen stuff. So I guess I'll start with this. I do have the, um, the Ray Harryhausen Legendary Monster series. Uh, pretty much obtains all his mythological films. So Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, Golden Voyage of Sinbad, Sinbad Eye of the Tiger, Jason and the Argonauts, and the Three Worlds of Gulliver are all in this, which is pretty cool. Yeti! Okay, yeah. Okay, so Huey had informed me that Yeti, Giant of the 20th Century, is going to be released on Blu-ray. I doubt it's going to be any good, and I'll explain why in a sec, Huey. So we have the Ray Harryhausen uh, Golden Monsters collection, which is really nice. Would you like to see Peter Jackson next as director? What do you mean by that? Uh, so then we have the original Clash of the Titans. Um, it's an okay DVD. I know they updated it recently, but I'm hoping... Hang on, Huey. Uh, just gotta... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. All right, so... I have um, I have the original Clash of the Titans, but I do have the remake, and I do have the sequel. They have not held up at all. They are awful. Oh my god, um, they have not held up at all. But that's that's O'Brien and Harryhausen, uh, so far. So there's that. Now we're gonna move on to the what I call the rest of the dinosaur collections. This is my other dinosaur movies. Now bear in mind, some of these are homemade. Some of these are official, and that's mostly because some of these you can't get anywhere. So first, I have Planet of Dinosaurs. This is, I had to get a copy off of YouTube and just put it on DVD, but there it is, Planet of Dinosaurs. It's an okay movie, but look at this cover. Why is an X-Wing on there? I don't understand that. And yeah, it's not in widescreen. It's always been full frame, unfortunately, because it was an independent film. But yeah, I have Planet of Dinosaurs. It is a good film. I do like it. Um, We have... This one, I don't know if they've ever released on DVD. And even if they did, I'm sure it's out of print. But I managed to find a copy off YouTube. And I downloaded it to a DVD. Um, Journey to the Beginning of Time. And yeah, I used to make my own uh, DVD covers. So, I, I've seen this movie once. I thought it was okay. I know it was on Huey Two More's uh, Top 10 Anime and Dinosaur Documentaries. Um, and that's where I discovered it. And then I watched it. I'm like, oh, it's actually not bad. Um, but this is uh, a really crappy DVD I made. I used to make a lot of DVDs back then because I figured better than paying a fuckload of money for it, but there's that, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, now this one's interesting because this one, as far as I know, has yet to be released on DVD. And I took this off the VHS version. I have my own DVD version of Dinosaur, an amazing look at these prehistoric Dinosaurs hosted by Christopher Reeve. 
I freaking love this documentary. This is one of my favorite dinosaur documentaries. I was so happy Huey included it. But I included a few things on this. Um, it's out by the Criterion? Okay, I'll have to take a look at it. I don't know if it's expensive. But um, this is the Christopher Reeve dinosaur documentary released in 1985. Animation by Phil Tippett. Um, but I included a couple extra things on here. Oh, nice! Okay, I'll have to look into that. Um, so it includes the dinosaur documentary. It includes uh, Prehistoric Beasts, the Phil Tippett short that inspired the documentary. Uh, it has dinosaurs, those terrible lizards from the, um, uh, that, what was that do documentary with the, the Muppet things? Like, I can't remember what it was. Um, it was the guy who did Land of the Lost. Uh, and then you have Fantasia, the Rite of Spring. I included that in there, too. I tried to fit as much as I could on this DVD, because the documentary is only 40 minutes. So, I have that. That's another bootleggy. Um, this one, unfortunately, I have looked into copies of the film. It is expensive. And I had it on YouTube from the time, and I have it here on DVD. I have a bootleg copy of The Land Unknown. Um, this is actually, I kind of like this one. I like the T-Rex. I like the Elasmosaur scene in the in the swamp. I like the, um, oh, what is it? The uh, reptiles that fight. Um, it's a classic B-movie, and it's done by the guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Mueller Jr., who did The Creature from the Black Lagoon, who was going to do The Legend of King Kong. But only if the Legend of King Kong uh, effects were going to look like this. Yeah, I don't know about that, essentially. Um, but yeah, The Land Unknown's a great dinosaur movie. I like this one. Uh, Wan Chain, yeah, because he did Land of the Lost. Uh, and then we have the Doug McClure classic. Again, this is a bootleg I had to get um, off YouTube. Uh, the Land of Time Forgot. One of my favorites. I love the puppetry dinosaurs in this film. They're fantastic. Um, really enjoyed this movie. Really good movie. Love this. One of the best. This is what they should have done with Kong 76. The same effects, but this is a really good dinosaur movie. And then we have, uh, we're reaching the 90s. We're reaching the 90s films. The Stegosauri, yeah, I never understood that. They're not Stegosauri unless you put plates on them. Um, yeah, it was made by Universal, which is great. So then we have these two. We have the two, first two Carnosaur movies. Um, I really enjoy these. I know they're some of Mason's favorite movies. Um, the thing is, I refuse to watch three through the rest of them, because at that point, they're using stock footage. Um, but I do like the first one. I do enjoy the first Carnosaur. Did have not, I know the second one is essentially an Aliens knockoff. I mean, look at, look at the fucking... Look at the fucking thought. It's trying to be Aliens. But these are okay movies, I find. They're okay. They're not the best, but they're fun. And this is where I want Jurassic Park to go in terms of a reboot. Not effects-wise, but themes. Just go this route. Is what I was hoping for with Fallen Kingdom. Do Carnosaur. That'd be great. Um, then I bought this off Amazon. I was really happy when I got this. Uh, the entire Walking with Dinosaurs BBC series. One of my personal favorites. Um, I really enjoyed this, this series. I remember watching it when it came out on Discovery Channel. Um, really great. It comes with uh, a making of special. And Walking with Dinosaurs, the next chapter. I have no clue what's on this DVD. I haven't watched it yet. But I don't know what the next chapter is. My only complaint is... I don't know. Has was Big Al put in this the Big Al special because that's what I'm actually hunting down for is the Big Al special. Great documentary on uh, probably my favorite allosaurus specimen. Uh, and then we have the movie, piece of shit. Um, and then we have I include this. I know it's not part. I know it's part of my Disney collection, but I don't care. It's dinosaurs. I do have Disney's dinosaur. Um, I haven't seen the documentaries for this, but I want to see what more went into the behind the scenes because this is a good movie. Really good movie. I enjoy it. I know it's Land Before Time knockoff, but I like it. It's a good movie. Really enjoy Disney's Dinosaur. Um, and then... There should, oh, there's one more here. I forgot it. I'll get to that in a sec. Then we enter the 2000s minus Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. There are only a few that were really available. Oh, wow. They're on Blu-ray. Okay, that's cool. So we have uh, these two. One I have watched, one I have not. The one I haven't watched, Jerry into the Center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser. I know people kind of like this one. I was kind of tempted to see it at the time, but then I saw it later, and I'm like, ooh, the effects look awful. Um, the T-Rex is way too big. Uh, that's like Godzilla-sized. And the, um, I like the Elasmosaur scene, but I remember just being, eh. I heard the sequel was actually good, Mysterious Island. I heard that was actually pretty decent, but... Yeah, I haven't watched this one. And I know there's only a few dinosaur scenes, but I don't know about that. I don't have The Last Dinosaur or uh, Huey. 
I don't have it, unfortunately. Uh, and then this one, uh, this one I kind of like. I know some people, I don't know what people's opinions are on this, but I thought the effects were pretty good, and I actually was surprised by the adult comedy in it. The movie reboot of Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell. I'm not a big Will Ferrell fan, but I thought this movie was pretty good. I had fun with this. I saw this at really an old, danky theater that was like a museum, and I had fun with this film. It's decent. Um, it's got some real funny moments. The T-Rexes. The Allosaurus looks really nice and, and so on. But it's it's okay, honestly. It's a, de it's a decent movie. Um, I had fun with it. So that's my dinosaur collection. Let's get to the heart of the collection. Let's take a look at my Kong collection. Of vast amount of Kong movies, prints, whatever you want to call it. This is going to get crazy, people. Oh, my God. This takes up half my shelf, and I gotta grab others. Oh my god! Ah, it's all up. There's so many Kong DVDs. It's not even funny. Oh lord, this was a mistake. Oh my god. And these are actually gonna be part of a future video. These are gonna be part of a future video. Oh my god. Oh dear. This. You asked for it. I regret nothing. Oh my god. Oh, look at all those Kong DVDs. These are all Kong DVDs. Oh my god. No. This is gonna get crazy. And we gotta go through the VHSs. What have you made me do? Oh god. Oh, and then the back of my whole Universal collection, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's pull this fucker out. Okay. Where to begin? Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna kill me. So we have uh, the single edition, released in 2005, 2006, I think. Uh, this was an early version. Um, I think I picked this up at the thrift shop for like two bucks. Um, I have this one. Unfortunately, well, actually, it is a single. I like how they included it as just a single edition. But there's that. I mean, it's an okay DVD. Not my favorite. However, we're gonna get to the good one. One of my personal favorite DVD box sets. The King Kong Collection. Marion C. Cooper's Amazing Adventures in the Unusual. Uh, this is one of my favorite box sets. I, I've had this for a long time. This includes the original, probably one of the best DVDs ever fucking made. I want to get the Blu-ray of it. Um, it includes Son of Kong, the sequel, and Mighty Joe Young. Great fucking DVD. This is one of the best box sets ever. If you can get your hands on it, please do. Um, this is a masterpiece of a box set. Such dedication was made into it. Frank, the land of the lost. Of oh, you hated it. You didn't like it, Huey. I mean, I thought the adult humor was bad, but I thought the effects were okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's the original Kongs that I own of the original uh, films. Um, then we have uh, these are a couple of knockoffs going to the '60s. We have, this is part of a uh, three-part uh, three, uh, three box set of public domain films, but uh, one of them is on here that is technically a Kong ripoff, and I might review it down the line, um, is Abbott and Costello's Africa Screams. I only bought this because of the Kong segments, but I do count it as part of my collection. I might take a look at it. I don't know if it's something you want me to review, guys, Africa Screams. I'll take a look at it as part of my Kong review series. Um, someday. But then we have uh, one of my favorites of the ripoff series, and it's because of one actor, Conga. <laughs> now, I had picked this up at the time at a giant tiger, and it was like a dollar. One of the best dollars I've ever spent. Um, I, I really like Co Conga. Um, Michael Goff is the best thing about it. The ape ruins it. Like, this poster is a fucking lie. It is a lie. <laughs> um, but the best part is Conga. But look, look at the bat. Look how ugly that suit is oh my god um but this is this is funny this is a really like i mean this is a good movie i enjoy it um it's an okay dvd there's no trailers there's no bonus features but hey that's what you expect from movies like this uh and of course i've already shown these off we have uh kong versus godzilla and king kong escapes um which are the blu-ray versions uh both the american english dubs um oh i'm feeling really itchy um, these were really gratefully, uh, given to me by a friend of mine 
who, believe it or not, works at the Jim Henson Group here in Canada. Uh, a friend of mine named Jim, uh, not related to Jim Henson, but he gave me this as a gift. He works for the Jim Henson Group here in Canada. Uh, the only DVD collection released of the King Kong show. Now, as much as I'm not a fan of this uh, of this series, um, I am glad he got me these because I can add them to my collection. They're nice to add as part of that. Um, but these are the... Uh, I believe the only two versions of the show that have ever been released on DVD. Um, I don't know how many... Is it all the episodes on here? I'm not 100%. Um, but these are the only ones I know exist. So, Huey, let me know if these are... If these have the... These two have the entire uh, series on it. So there's uh, the King Kong show. Now we move on to... Uh, okay, this one I found out. I'm so glad I bought it at the time on Amazon. And uh, this is one of the rarest DVDs I own. And I am so happy I got this. Because now it's, like, worth a lot. I have in my possession The Mighty Gorga by Something Weird Video. Something Weird Video makes some pretty cool DVDs. I'm not going to lie. They're filled with extras. This also comes with 1 million ACDC directed by Ed Wood. Um, and, yeah, like, I just wanted to get this for my Kong collection. The movie's not good. <laughs> But this DVD is kind of fun. Wait, does this have fun in Blue Land? Shut up. It does not have fun in Blue Land. Please don't. Oh, my God. Stop fucking the balloons. Um, but, yeah, this is a um, this is a really good one. I've been working on a Kong script again. I have written The Swamp. I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah, no problem, man. One big schlock. Uh, schlock is one I'm looking forward to. Um, but, yeah, so I have this. This is a rare DVD now. Go on Amazon. It's worth a couple hundred dollars. But I'm happy I got the great Great DVD. Um, I like, I do like, um, sort of the front of it. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so there's that. I had the Mighty Gorga. Now we're moving on to the good stuff. Let's talk about Kong 76. So, in total, I have three copies of the film on DVD. Uh, I have one on Blu-ray, but it doesn't work. Um, and I got a ton on VHS, but we'll get to that in a sec. So, um, obviously, I don't have the first edition that came out because it was actually, one, I believe it was pulled after 9-11. They pulled it and they replaced it with a later cover. But I believe this cover came out right around the time the Peter Jackson movie came out. So it's this one, which I think is actually a pretty solid cover for uh, the 70s remake. It is a, it is a solid uh, DVD cover. Um, I do want the first edition if anybody wants to send it to me. I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, the print of this film is not good. Um, from what I gathered, uh, the print of this DVD was taken off the the laser disc, which I know a lot of early DVDs did. They would just rip off the laser disc and put it on a solid disc. The quality of this is awful. The only thing they include as a bonus feature is the trailer. Uh, this is a Bones DVD. Um, I'm still waiting for a Blu-ray of this. I really want to see it brought to uh, North America, especially by the time Congress with Godzilla comes out. Um, yeah, like, honestly, my favorite film, really, I like this cover, but, man, it needs a really good Ultimate Edition, essentially, so there's that, and now we're getting to where it's piling up. Uh, then we have, uh, this one, so I ordered this off Amazon because Blu-rays of this print are really expensive, and unfortunately, um, you need a region-free Blu-ray to play this, I do not have that, and that is... This is the 76 film on Blu-ray. This is a legit Blu-ray. This ain't a bootleg. But this is from Germany. This is a German Blu-ray of the film. And it's supposed to come with a bunch of bonus features. With some of the deleted scenes. But unfortunately, I can't play it. I can't play it because my Blu-ray is not region free, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it's it was the cheapest one on Amazon. It was like $10. But it's the closest we're going to get. I really want them to release this film on Blu-ray. So let's put that there. Now this uh, copy um, was actually uh, a gift from from um, from a uh, friend that I knew on social media. This is my well. Bear in mind, this is my cover. This is my cover of the extended TV cut of Kong seventy six. Uh, I made the badge. I just took some old newspaper ads and I kind of placed them together and I put a little spine. But this is my own cover. Now, unfortunately, uh, yeah, like, obviously, this cut of the film is really hard to find. It's only, it's a VHS, like, there's either VHS prints and so on. They're all in full screen. There's no widescreen edition. 
However, uh, this print of the film was gifted to me by a friend on Facebook who I met who owns uh, a 16 millimeter print of the extended TV cut. Now, it had been rendered and transitioned to many formats, VHS, to DVD, to Blu-ray. Not in the best quality, but they come on these two discs. There's disc one and disc two. Uh, both The extended TV cut is on both these discs, and they're ripped from a 16mm uh, print. The print is not good. Like The print is sharp quality. It's not like the VHS, but it does suffer from, pitch, from uh, picture issues because it's so dark. Half the time, you can't see what's going on. But what's cool about it is that it has something that's kind of rare for the extended TV cut. It has the preview for part two, the recap of part one, and an alternate version of the credits. Um, this includes, uh, you know how at the end of the credits they just show Kong's uh, lifeless body and they have the credits roll? This one has it without the footage. It has a black screen with the credits, which is kind of interesting. But I do own that. It's an okay cover, but I really want to get a better version of that. So there's 76. Now we get to the trilogy of ripoffs, or four ripoffs. And this is where Huey's going to get interesting. So first of all, I have Queen Kong, which also includes the film White Pongo, which I have not watched. Uh, this is a terrible print. Uh, it's in full screen. It looks awful, and I have a better print on my uh, computer. It is in one screen, but this is the full screen version. But look at that awful cover. This is probably around, yeah, it's 2005, so at the same time the Peter Jackson remake was coming out. Um, again, bought this off Amazon, but it does come with two movies, The White Pongo and Queen Kong. It also says you can get Kong Island, so they made a version of Kong Island on this. Um, but I think it's a funny film. I still think it's actually rather funny. So, there's Queen Kong. Uh, and then we have Ape. <laughs> again, ordered off Amazon. I believe this print is now out of print, and now it's rare. Now you can get the Blu-ray, um, of it. And it's in 3D. The Blu-ray actually is in 3D, which is kind of cool. But, again, not a good movie. Um, I do like some of the attempts they made, but it is overall pointless, so there's that. God, it's just getting up there, isn't it? Um, hey, that's a real gorilla. Yeah, I know, and the Queen Kong cover is ridiculous. Um, and then we have my favorite of the ripoffs. Mighty Peaking Man, this is from the Quentin Tarantino collection, the Rolling Thunder Pictures uh, collection, meaning this is the English dub. Now, I do own uh, the original uh, Hong Kong dub that they made. Um, and this, But yeah, this is from uh, the Tarantino collection, uh, and it actually has um, some reviews on it. So it says, thumbs up, genius, genius, crazy, demented weirdness. I laughed a lot, a lot. Roger Ebert from Siskel and Ebert reviewed this. And it also says, Sheer Destructive Joy and Insanity by Harry Knowles. Because that was the episode where Harry Knowles showed up at one point. Um, all right, see you later, Brock. But um, I remember seeing that at the Toronto Film Festival. They had this at the Toronto Film Festival? Shit, I would have gone to that. It would have been great. But um, I actually really enjoyed this one. Good movie. And then we have the last one. Now, I had purchased this at G-Fest. And I finally watched it. It's of this print. Oh, Huey, this is awful. Mighty Peaking Man, or Yeti Giant of the 20th, 20th Century. Uh, this print is awful. I would not recommend anybody buying this. Um, I don't know who made the CFS Region Zero. This print is awful. Now, I the reason I say that, Huey, is because compared to the digital copy that I have that I ripped off YouTube, the YouTube version is a better print. This is way too bright. It's mostly black and white because half the picture has been deteriorated. This print is awful. Honestly, it is god-awful. Yes, I know the Blu-ray is coming out, but that's why I'm skeptical of getting it. Because the prints are awful on home video. The fucking uh, YouTube version is way better uh, in terms of color quality and everything. So that's the majority of the 70s kong stuff so we're just gonna put those down here we're gonna put this half down that's essentially the first half of my kong collection we're not we're only halfway through so then we have uh we reached uh the 80s and 90s so we have all these <laughs> we have all these to go through so first of all this uh dvd is actually really rare now I found out it's worth a lot because, again, they haven't put it on Blu-ray, and this is out of print. I have King Kong Lives. Now, granted, this is an okay cover. I do like the back. 
Uh, there's no trailer, unfortunately. Uh, and it's just a bare bones DVD. But what's interesting is that this one was released through 20th Century Fox. So I guess Fox owned it for a little bit. So does this mean this is owned by Disney? <laughs> Disney owns King Kong Lives. Um, but basically, um, yeah, this is uh, this is the only DVD version that was ever released here. And since then, it has yet to uh, surface on Blu-ray, except for other regions. Um, I don't know what the state of the film is now in terms of who owns it, but yeah, this is the uh, this is the only part of King Kong Lives. This is a rare copy to find. You cannot find this really anywhere now. It is really rare. So there's that. Um, so we're gonna move that. Scoot, scoot, scoot that over there. Uh, and then we reach the '90s. So the '90s. We have, obviously, uh, the remake of Mighty Joe Young. Uh, this is a pretty cheap DVD, but the Blu-ray is expensive as fuck because it was a Disney exclusive, like a Disney Club member exclusive, which is bullshit. Complete bullshit. I want a Blu-ray of this. And I guess the only way to watch it in HD now is on Disney. Is this on Disney Plus? If it's on Disney Plus, I want to... Somebody compare the quality. I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, this is the widescreen edition. This is one of the first early Disney DVDs. Um, no bonus features. There's a production featurette. Uh, there is the trailer, but there's not really much else. There is a, um, uh, the, you know, the coming soda video cassette and everything is on here. Um, I think I have this also on VHS. I'm not 100%. Um, and actually what I love, they included the little RKO logo right at the bottom there. Um, but, yeah, I do like this remake. I do prefer it over the original. I like the original, but I like that a little more. Now, I'm not sure, because Huey's review said this was released on DVD, but I have yet to ever see this film on DVD. Ever. I have it on VHS, but I have yet to see it on DVD. So I had to make my own. Uh, Huey, let me know if you've seen DVDs of this. I have The Mighty Kong. Uh, I had to make, just take the VHS cover and convert it to a DVD cover. Um, this film is not good. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, Huey. But yeah, so I had to make my own copy. Huey, I don't know, has this been actually released on DVD? Let me know if it has, then I might get an official copy of it for now. I had to acquire my own. Um, but one thing I did add to save, uh, to add some extra space, I included the album of the Chipmunks, uh, special the kong special it is on dvd okay i had no idea it was on dvd uh if somebody if it, it's on if it's on amazon um please send it to me what um yeah so uh yeah there's that um yeah i'll even bore a little i don't know you can stick this on for little kids and they get it but um yeah this 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 movie is awful um and if you guys want to see a better review other than mine uh, go check out Huey Two review. It's great. It's one of my favorite episodes he's done. So there's uh there's the Mighty Kong. It's awful. And then we reach the 2000s. Now the 2000s is interesting. So the first one is something completely unexpected. Now I saw this episode when it aired on TV. When it was on TV one time, my grandma's, and then I actually had to order it on a special website. But uh, I have here one of the best Kong parody episodes ever put to television. George Shrink's King Kongo. Yes, they did make a DVD version of this. Um, it includes uh, two episodes of the show George Shrink's as well as a bonus episode of Seven Little Monsters. I don't know if you guys remember that shit. But um, yeah, this is essentially the, the DVD version. You can get this anywhere, honestly, with the show. Um, I know a lot of the voice actors are, I think, local. So I might, if I ever meet them, get them to sign it. Um, it's better than yours because you, we, you went to more detail into it and you went to more why it sucks. I just breezed through it like an old Monster Madness episode, but you did a much better review of it because that movie is awful. Um, granted, the only thing I liked was Dudley Moore. He was the only good thing about it. Um but anyway, so, yeah, uh, this is the only version of King Kongo you can get on DVD. I'd actually recommend this. You can buy this anywhere. It's dirt cheap, um, but it's good to add to your Kong collection. But I have this episode. Like, look at that cover. That, and what I love about this uh, this episode is that it is a loving... Obviously, the people making it, it was a loving tribute to the original film. To the point, the doll that Becky has is named Faye. 
What a great tribute. This came out in like 2000. Yeah, this is 2000. Um, great tribute uh, to the original Kong. Really enjoyed this episode. Uh, have like probably one of my personal favorites in terms of cartoons. Uh, now I do. This is all one thing. I do have the entirety of the Kong animated series. Not a fan of this show, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. I know Kong TV, it works. No, it doesn't for me. It doesn't for me, especially in animation. This was just meant to be the answer to Godzilla, the animated series, and Batman, the animated series. Like, just everything tried to cash in on that. But uh, I have the first two seasons of, uh, of the show. Now, funny enough, when I was at Anime North uh, last year, I had no clue he was there. But, um... I saw that apparently Kirby Murrow was there, voice actor Kirby Murrow. Now, Kirby Murrow has done some great stuff. Uh, he's Canadian voice actor. He's one of the voices of Goku, but he's also the voice of Moroku on Inuyasha. And in Kong the Animated Series, he's the voice of the main kid, main title character. Now, if I ever meet Kirby Murrow at Anime North, if he's there, I'm probably going to pack these just in case for him to sign because and who knows if i can get an interview with him that'd be great if you guys would like an interview with kirby murrow that'd be amazing but um yeah this is essentially um the uh the entire series so we have the first two seasons which i have not watched all of them i've only skimmed through a few episodes but then we have uh the two movies so we have uh kong king our uh, kong king of atlantis this actually took me a while to find uh king of atlantis and i watched it <sighs> it's all right it feels more like, an, it's like one of the Inuyasha movies, but not good. And you know what? I mean, I kind of talked about the animated series, but if you guys would like me to discuss these two movies at some point on their own, I could consider it. I could really consider it. Africa Screams, these two. I might make these episodes Sunday if you guys want to see me talk about these in a bit more detail, because I only skimmed through them. But I think they might make good episodes, so who knows? If you guys want to see them in a future season. Yeah, well, he, well, that was um, that was another voice actor, Huey. Uh, Kirby Murrow, I don't think, was Cheetor. It was a different actor. Um, Kirby Murrow was Moroku in Inuyasha. He was um, Goku in Seasons, the Boo Saga of Dragon Ball Z in Canada. And then he was also the voice of the kid from Yvonne of the Yukon, I think. It's weird. So there's uh, Kong the Animated Series. So then we get to the mini, mini gritty. We have, uh, we've reached the Peter Jackson era. Now, Peter Jackson's King Kong in terms of home video releases is quite interesting. I actually found out recently it was released on VHS. In one country, there is a VHS out there, but it is hard to find. If I ever find it, that's a holy grail for me. Is that they did release Kong on VHS, but it is a rare beast. Um, indeed. And it was only released in one country, probably a pro uh, prover uh, poverty country because they're so poor they can only afford VHSs. But it was released on uh, on VHS. Same thing with Revenge of the Sith. I want to get that someday. But here we have pretty much the entire collection of Kong home video formats, as far as I know. So the first one we have is the solo DVD. Now... I don't want to get, I might get the widescreen version, but for now, um, I'm going to stick with the full screen edition, which I have not watched the full screen version. I don't know if it's good, uh, but I'm curious to see it in full screen. So this is the solo DVD. It only comes with the one disc. Um, but yeah, this is the full screen edition. I do want to get the widescreen version if I find it. I find it everywhere. Um, so there's that. Watch in black and white. That'd be clever. Uh, then we have the, um, now this one's interesting, so I don't know if you guys remember this. You guys remember HD DVD? It was essentially made to, uh, combat the Blu-ray, uh, but it lost. Now, unfortunately, hang on a sec. Um, there we go. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, yeah, the, uh, blur. this is the HD DVD version I don't know what the quality's like, but if I get an HD DVD, I'd probably uh, test it out because I want to compare all the formats. But uh, yeah, this is the HD DVD version. This is the only one I have HD DVD wise. And then we have, uh, then later on, after the solo DVD was released, the following year, December 2000, 
or no, March 2006. You had the solo DVD, but then you had this. This I bought at Costco at the time. This is the two-disc special edition. This includes the entirety of the post-production diaries um, that were released. And this is a great DVD. Um, but yeah, so you have that, which is pretty cool. So this is the two-disc special edition. Uh, and this includes the movie and the bonus feature. Some great stuff on here. And speaking of production diaries, we have... The Production Diary box set. This is a nice box set. Pick this up dirt cheap at Giant Tiger. Um, but it does come with like a bunch of cool shit in it. I don't want to show it off right now. But it's a, it's okay. I like it as a prop because I do like how it looks like a case. And it says Carl Denham Productions, which is kind of cool. Um, really nice DVD. Then we have uh, t December 2006. They released the uh, Deluxe Extended Edition. Uh, basically, they are a, this is the, their, uh, the Kong version of, shit, things are falling. It's the Kong version of the extended DVDs of Lord of the Rings. So, they do, um, have a bunch of bonus features on it. They have a great documentary. This DVD is actually where I was first introduced to the 1996 Kong that never got made. Um, there's a great documentary on the making of it. Now, what's really cool about this DVD, guys, check this out. You guys are gonna flip. So, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little kind of signed thing on there. A little signed on the DVD, like the hand signature. So, here's a great story about this DVD. So, I had this for a while. And around 2014, 2015, I can't remember, uh, I was invited to the Toronto International Film Festival to see the world premiere of the film The Impossible. Now, it's a story based on a, a true story based on the family that survived the 2004 tsunami. Now, um, the family was actually there. The director was there. Uh, what's his name? Uh, J.A. Bayona, who directed Fallen Kingdom. Great guy. Um, saw the, was at the world premiere of that thing. Was at the world premiere. Uh, the sound was incredible. I am so pissed that movie didn't get nominated for best uh, sound design. Uh, great sound work on there. Uh, great movie, too. One of the best tsunami movies. I mean, it's based on a true story, but the tsunami effects really work, and I can see why Bayona was hired for Fallen Kingdom. But then you see who was cast in this picture. You have Tom Holland, who was a really young kid at the time, pre-Spider-Man, uh, really showing his acting abilities in this film. And I did actually bump into him in the lobby, which was kind of cool. Yeah, I forgot to mention, I met Spider-Man. That was pretty cool. I didn't even know who he was at the time, but he was a cool kid. Um, Ewan McGregor, who I did meet at, uh, at the premiere. Really nice guy. Met him briefly. Um, he did not say hello there. Um, I just told him, hey, I like your work. Like Star Wars. But the person who was there, who signed this DVD, I'm not kidding. And I met her. She was so sweet. This is hand-signed by Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts hand-signed this DVD. She is such a sweetheart. Um, I just was waiting in line at the premiere, and I just said hi very briefly, and she said I was, like, I'm, like, this is my favorite film, one of my favorite films, and she said it was really sweet. She signed it. Unfortunately, she didn't get it in gray, but, yeah, so, Miami Watts signed this fucking DVD, which is amazing. This is one of my prized possessions. This is great. If I could, I'd get it framed. But, yeah, one of my favorite DVDs that I own, only because of that. That was kind of cool. So, that day... And Darrow signed this movie. But at the same time, I met Obi-Wan Kenobi and Spider-Man. <laughs> I met all three of them. It was awesome. It was great. Oh, man. So, the last two in this Peter Jackson edition. Uh, this? So, this is a bootleg of the Peter Jackson remake. It's not a screen copy. It's not a uh, cam copy. Which are ones... Actually, funny enough. Bootlegs, you should never watch bootlegs. Bootlegs, you should not support. However, nowadays, cam copies are starting to go for a bit only because of the audience reactions and the history. Um, Star Wars, screen copies are, or cam copies are rare. Uh, cam copies of Jurassic Park. That's one I really want as a cam copy of that. I saw a news article about that on CNN. But this is for the Peter Jackson film, and you can tell it's a bootleg because on the sticker... Uh... You have Chinese writing. Now, all it is is just a rip of the first DVD. Um, but I saw it at a thrift shop, and I figured I'd pick it up. It's okay. 
It's not the best, but it is a bootleg, unfortunately. But if you want the ultimate package, the ultimate edition of Peter Jackson's King Kong, you get yourself the ultimate edition on Blu-ray. <laughs> So, I, when they announced this, I was super excited. I picked it up. This is pretty much all the DVDs I have in one package. You can get this right now at Walmart or Amazon for about $10. This is worth it. You don't have to spend all your money on all the other versions. This has every bonus feature. It has the extended version. The theatrical version. The documentary, all the production diaries, the deleted scenes, everything is on this. Highly recommended. Uh, one of the best Blu-rays ever made. The ultimate edition of Peter Jackson's King Kong. It's worth the price. So now we've reached the final stretch. And I think I'm actually going to cut it here because we are reaching the, the, the hour mark. Um, but we're going to reach the home stretch. So this is pretty much the last of my Kong collection. Um, so basically, I don't know, I may come back and do, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. I just know it's going to take me a while to talk about, because I've got a lot, a lot of movies. Maybe next time I will talk about the, um, the VHSs and all the other formats I have. So, um, we reached the Jackson knockoffs, as I put it. So we have three here. Uh, the first one being one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, or the worst movie. This is, this is my number one Worst film of all time. And I'm thinking, if I can hit 100 episodes of the King Kong reviews, I will make this that 100th episode. King of the Lost World. I only briefly talked about it because it was so bad I just wanted to get it over with. I just wanted to get it over with. It is like an abortion of a film. I wanted to take a coat hanger to this piece of shit. This is awful. This is the worst movie I have ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen some bad movies. This is the worst. The worst. In fact, The Asylum? Make the worst movies ever right. And you know what? June Barg almost made me say it, but fuck it, I'm gonna say it. The Asylum is the Onision of Hollywood. I fucking went there. This, free, this movie, this company, The Asylum, Everything they make is the Onision of Hollywood. And that's pretty fucking bad. This is awful. Like, even talking about it, I get, I, it's a, even talking about it, I get so mad. This is a piece of shit movie. It's awful. Like, it makes me want to fucking kill myself. Like, it, this is, brings out my anger, my angry mode. If I ever review this again, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be really fucking mad. And you know what? If I can reach 100 episodes, not only will I review this, I'll review Bigfoot, which is in some countries called King Kong 3. What the fuck? And who knows? I might talk about some other movies. I might talk about their Indiana Jones ripoff. I might talk about fucking 100 million BC. Set, like, on par, worst movies I've ever seen. I, I, I want this. Like, maybe not Kong Return, because Kong King of the Apes took a lot out of me, but you will see me really mad. I will be ranting. Like, right now, I will be this kind of mad at this piece of shit. Like, I want to fucking punch it. I want to just, like, I can't describe what I would do with this. Like, the thing is with me talking about bad movies, I get so mad to the point that what I do with these films will shock you. But, for example, Hunchback 2. Well, I, second worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Hunchback 2. The thing, the horrible things I would do with that film would be on par with a hentai. A really bad hentai. I would torture that film. Torture it. I would beat it with a crowbar like the Joker did to Jason Todd to the point it would go on for so long that you guys would be like, please stop, we get it. But you would have to share my pain. The closest I would say to what I would do with Hunchback 2 is if you guys have ever seen Tamara and Asagi or Demon Ninja Hunter Asagi, that's what I would do with that movie. <laughs> that's what I would do with that movie. Do not Google it. If you are if you are 18, if you're under 18, don't Google that. It is a horrible hentai. JT is reborn would know what I'm talking about. But this, 
The only, okay, this is going to sound really bad. The only concept I have with this movie and with the asylum in general is I would take a bunch of these movies, like a whole pile of them, buy a bunch of them and burn it and burn it. But it would be so shocking. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can tell. My dad's watching this right now on the stream. He's going to hate me for saying this. But, oh, here we go. You guys ever seen Schindler's List? You know that scene where, like, they're walking through the towns, and then they start seeing snow falling, and it's not snow, it's ash from the immolation scene? Imagine that scene, but with these fucking movies. With these fucking movies. That's all I'm going to say. That's how bad it would be. That's the scene I would imitate. These are awful. Like, I'm shaking. These are fucking atrocious. The, they're to the point if they were a group of people, I'd hate it. Like, it's that fucking bad, people. Like, I think the worst things about this. And I'm sorry if I'm being offensive, but that's how bad I fucking hate this piece of shit. I fucking hate this piece of shit. <laughs> Save your energy. Save your energy. Save your energy. Save it for the 100th episode. Save it. You will get your turn, and I'm gonna enjoy every fucking minute of you bleeding to death. Fuck that piece of shit! Speaking of hentai! Let's talk about Kiki Kong! <laughs> I don't know if I can show much of this cover, but there it is. There's Kinky Kong. Talked about this in my Valentine's Day special last year. This was fun. It's better. It's way better than that. Way better. At least it, there was some fun in this. At least there were titties. Oh my god. Aw, oh, thanks, Mason. Thank you so much. Guys, go subscribe to Mason. He's awesome. So that is the super chat. But oh god, this piece of shit. Well, I mean, it's not a, it's a piece of shit, but it's a good piece of shit. It's a shit you can take a bite into. Just like my birthday cake. Mm. That's good shit. So, this one ain't bad. I kind of like this one. You know, I kind of like this one. It says here, get Kinky Kong DVD for free. Okay. That's okay. I like that one. Now, third one. I gave it a pretty bad review at the time, and not many people know about it until afterwards. But looking back on it, thinking about it, watching it, I can kind of have fun with it, especially if you're like drunk or high. I think you can kind of have fun with it if you're on your own and just kind of like completely zoned out. Um, I kind of like this movie. <laughs> It's it's a guilty pleasure. It's a so bad it's good. Like yeah, it's it's awful. It's a rip off. It's done on the, it made in a dumpster can. But I like it. And you know what? The people who are making it look like they were having fun. I know it's a terrible film. Um. Oh God, Brian, you poor poor man. But just picture that's what I'd do to King of the Lost World. I kind I wouldn't re-review it per se. But, I mean, if I give my real thoughts on it, I kind of enjoy it. I kind of have fun with it. It's goofy. It's silly. The Bollywood musicals are cringy, but you can tell they're kind of having fun. Now, I know there's sort of a Jurassic Park version of this because I've seen a video on YouTube called Hello, Hello, Dinosaur Song. And it's kind of in the same quality as Bangalore King Kong. And they have these obvious YouTube rip CGI dinosaur things. But... I kind of had fun with it. Thanks for coming in, Dad. Uh, I had fun with it. I really did have fun with it. Um, that song. So I don't know if there is... If somebody could tell me what that movie is. I don't know. But yeah, this is okay. This is not half bad. So I like Bangor King Kong. Yes, this is a DVD I had to make because it's not officially been released. <laughs> Excuse me. Choking on cake. So, uh, we're down to the last three. Now, this one was a gift to me by Elijah Donovan and Nessie Film Productions. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, look them up. They sent me a DVD copy of uh, their film Skull Island. 
uh, which is essentially a remake of King Kong, but uh, this was a film that I did review on my channel. You guys can go check it out. It's in season three or four, I believe. I think season four. Uh, but anyway, so basically, this um, this is an okay movie. Um, I th I thought it was one of the better uh fan films. Uh, but thank you Elijah Dunavant and Nessie Film Studios for sending this because this is one of my favorite um, this is one of my favorite film films. Like, look at that cover. It's a great cover. It's just it's a footprint, but if you look closely, it's like a continent. This is really clever. Um, yeah, the full movie is on YouTube if you look it up. But it is a good movie. It is a good film. Really enjoy that one. That was a that was a gift. Um, and I actually did interview them on the episode, which was kind of cool. But then we have the recent films. So we obviously have Kong Skull Island. Now, this does come with two discs, which is pretty cool. But I do want to get this eventually on Blu-ray. I do want to get it on Blu-ray, but I did get the DVD because it was cheaper. So there's that. And then we have Rampage. Uh, again, another gift from uh, Studio 95. So thank you for getting us a copy in time for the review. So, yeah, there's Rampage. Um... That's pretty much it for my entire Kong collection. You guys just saw my entire DVD Blu-ray collection of Kong movies. Um, I uh, This was fun. I got to show you guys this. Next time, uh, maybe on uh, probably on Wednesday, I will show you guys the rest. I would like to show you guys this entire collection because look at how many fucking movies we have here. But um, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's been a good fucking birthday. Uh, of course, you guys, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. We'll, we'll uh, reply back to you. Um, again, if you guys would like to have obtain a copy of VHS edition of my Kong remake, uh, just send us a PM on Facebook or Twitter or social media, Instagram. Uh, we'll send you our PayPal. It's five bucks plus shipping. Let us know if you want one. Uh, of course, uh, if you guys want to help support the show, go check out our Patreon. Just a dollar more. We'll get you early access to all of our content as well as other special features. Um, we appreciate all the help. You can check out our Inuyasha vlogs. Um, and you can enjoy yourself. You know, like It'll help uh, support the show as well as uh, future Big Giant Film projects. Um, shout out quickly to Huey Two More. Go check out his channel. Luna Chibani. Uh, she's starting up her channel. Please go support her. Um, she wants to get into YouTube. Uh, she's going to get her Patreon going at some point. Um, and I think she'd really appreciate it. And tell, them, tell her I sent you. So until the next video, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off. Happy birthday to me. And... One moment. <laughs> My name is Big Jack Films. And I'm a King Kongaholic. <laughs> See you guys later. Shit. Bye.